Yo, what's going on guys? Space Kong here, and yeah, I'm kind of stuck. This Nord bartender's kind of pushed me in a corner here to have his way with me and stuff. But, uh, yeah. And I'll try and jump out. Oh, there we go. I can jump out. But yeah, anyway guys. What's going on guys? Space Kong here. So, in this video I'm going to be showing you some console commands. Now, I don't know if the right word for it is console commands because, you know, if you're on Skyrim, Oblivion, or Fallout, then they'll be called console commands because of you can actually change the game by using the... Oh, I'm in the corner again. Okay, he's going to have his way with me again. But yeah, essentially, I don't know if you can call it console commands because it's an online game where, you know, the gameplay is all live and stuff and there's other players because essentially this is an MMORPG. So I don't know what the correct word for it is, so I'm just going to call it console commands. But anyway, let's go on. So, if you want to find out your frames per second, just forward slash FPS. And there you go, at the bottom left corner, you can see FPS. So I'm on 72 frames per second, which is okay, it's not the best. But, um, you know, you're not going to get the best frames per second playing this game anyway. Because Elder Scrolls is full of lag, but you can always sort out the lag with the previous video I showed you with the reload UI, but it doesn't always work, you know, depends on the situation. But the next useful one is to invite someone to party. So you forward slash invite and then space and then type in the user's at name or their character name and that works. So uh, next up we have jump to friend, which is, you know, when you travel to player, it's essentially a way of doing it without bringing up your friends list. So you forward slash jump to friend and have a space and then insert your friend's name here um, yeah but it's obviously easier just to go in your menu than click on a friend travel to player but just in case you're feeling extra lazy then there you go but you can also forward slash log out which logs out for you in case your menu isn't working you're stuck and you can always forward slash quit which doesn't just log you out of the game it actually closes down the app which is also very useful in case you know you get some kind of glitch where you can't actually go into your menu my personal favourite, Reload UI. So forward slash Reload UI. It's all one word. And um, yeah, essentially it reloads the whole game. And yeah, it, it sorts out a lot of lag issues. Not all of them, but uh, I'll go into more depth later uh, in a previous video if you want to check that out. But it helps a lot, especially if you're using a new add-on. This next one, forward slash Played. This will show you the time played on your character. So yeah, I've spent a lot of time on this character, <laughs> over six days. It shows you the exact time that you've actually played on your character, which is very useful. And it also shows you how much time you've committed to this game. It doesn't show you account-wide, it just shows you each you know, each character you're using. But this actually, this is probably my favourite one, because it's quite nice to know. The next one is forward slash stuck, which will bring you to this help menu, which you can get to anyway by using a normal menu, but just in case your menu's not working because of some glitch, then you can always use this to get yourself unstuck. I've tried typing in forward slash get me unstuck, but that doesn't actually work. They should probably make one like that which works, either that or I'm just typing it in wrong, but I couldn't find one anyway. But yeah, I hope you guys have actually you know found this useful and... Yeah, so a lot of these you won't use, and a lot of these you probably will use. Like, I will probably use the frames per second, uh, the, the ESO quit, which means you have to bring up the menu or anything like that. Time played and reload UI are probably my favourite ones I'll use out of this. It's not cheating or anything like that. It's not hacking in case you people like, hey, you know, you're hacking a game, I'm going to report you and stuff. No, it's not any of that at all. It's basically a shortcut. I will leave a link to these all in the description below, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it useful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, guys, have yourselves a great day. Peace. Peace. Oh.